Survive the attack, and we got three batteries. Holy shit. Hey guys, welcome back to Oregon Trail, the finale. We're actually doing pretty good. Don is dead, but eh, I'm kind of over it by now. <laughs> Sorry, Donna. Um, I really like to sell because last episode I won three batteries, so if I could sell that, that would be fucking awesome. Um, upgrades. Can I sell my car parts? Or is that not an actual thing? Because I have four batteries now. I don't need four batteries. That's pointless. I want to sell them, but I don't think that's an option. So I guess that's not going to happen, which is very saddening. Is saddening a word? I think so. If it isn't, then I made it a word. Okay, is there any trades available? Spare five of their fuel for 23 of our dollars. That's actually pretty good if we had $23. A stranger is willing to trade one of their tires for one of your batteries. Ah, why not? <laughs> we'll even them up. Um, what's the activity? Low? Do we even need anything though? I think we're like good enough to actually just leave here because to be honest, we're going to the last stop and we have way more supplies than we need. So let's just go ahead and leave this town. 322 miles till safe haven. Broken down cars block the road. Aw, oh, fuck. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Kill me twice. Here we go driving on the road again. What am I saying? Lucagen! God damn it. So we have Josh. He's hasn't really gone through that much. He's pretty healthy. I think he's broken a few bones. But apart from that, he hasn't been through too much. You stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. Whiplash. Luke has been a really good girl this whole entire game. She hasn't like broken anything or lost anything. Except she got bit by a zombie. So now she's slowly turning into a zombie. Now she has a fever. So she's losing her life super fast. The only water you can find is sludge from a runoff drain. You reluctantly drink it. That's disgusting. We should probably actually... Oh, uh, we don't need to stop. Luke is going to be oh fine. I almost said okay. Then I said fine. Then I'm like oh fine. You hit a zombie, it leaves a ding in the hood of the station wagon. Doesn't matter because the safe haven is right here. The safe raven. Like Raven Simone. Or Raven from Teen Titan. One of the two. Okay, so we're at the safe haven. Hey there! Welcome to the safe haven! I let you in, but our power grid is down for the maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up. And hurry! It looks like there's a horde heading this way. Click anywhere to continue. Okay, so the final finale instructions. There's an E, so it's finale, not final. Gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. You can carry two at a time. Your party will replace you if you fail or fall. They will also provide covering fire from the station wagon. Nice, so teamwork time. So we wanna, oh, we can also get ammo too. That's pretty handy dandy. Okay, so we wanna grab these gas cans and then take them back to the generator. Now luckily, since we have three team members, they'll shoot zombies for us for the most part, so that's also pretty helpful. And they don't waste our ammo, so that's also pretty great. Nice. Okay, so there's another gas can we can carry two at a time, and there's 10 of them, so we'll have to take at least five trips. Oh shit, get out of here. No, shit. And if we get hit by a zombie, we still have like four lives left, so we're doing pretty good. We'll be completely fine. We shouldn't have any troubles on this. Now, if you have like one or two party members left and not very much ammo, then it can be quite a bit of a problem, but I think we're going to be pretty good. I think we're pretty safe. The thing is, it gets more difficult because the zombies will definitely stack up. Especially as you walk backwards and they all chase you back. Let's get rid of some of these guys while we're kind of slowed down. And hopefully our party members will take care of this one right down here as we go back for some more gas. Come on, guys. I know you can shoot him. Party members. This is the gun shooting party. Don't make me do all the work. Jesus, you guys are so unhelpful sometimes. Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe. And we have so much ammo. I'm so happy about all the ammo so we don't have to go for these little ammo packets around here as well. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're still doing good. Let's go ahead and rush back. Can't believe we're already at the finale. I mean, I actually can because I only wanted the series to be like three parts long. I thought the game was, was a lot shorter than it actually is. And I even cut a lot of stuff out too. But it still lasted quite a while. What is this? Part 8? Yeah. I thought it would be three parts. So it lasted a tiny bit longer. But overall it wasn't too bad. Oh. They shot him for me. Good team members. Shoot this one? Maybe? Nope. Okay, I'll shoot him. Fine. I'll do all the work myself. Look at all these bullet holes in the wall. And this music is so rad. So intense. So epic. All the epicosity. Is epicosity a word? I don't think so. 
Maybe they'll add it to the dictionary because I said it. Maybe if we say it enough, they'll add it to the dictionary. I think they will. I have faith. Am I adding words to the dictionary skills? I'm gonna go for the one furthest away now, just because I can. I mean, why not? I think this is the one that's furthest away. Yeah, there's four left, and this is one of them. Get okay, rather this one. Got a lot of zombies in our way, so we'll shoot them all in the face. Die, you bastards. Oh shit, die. Okay, somebody managed to hit that one that takes two lives. Ugh, okay, how come none of the zombies were close? It's kind of disheartening. This one has a muffin top, as you can see. It's pretty attractive, unless that's like its pelvis sticking out of its body. That'd be attractive as well. Ah, scary. Almost ran into me. Actually, it didn't really even get close. I don't know why I freaked out. Such a long walk. I just want to get back to the generator. Here we are. Choose some boots for me, people. I believe in you. Fine. Make me do all the work. Whatever. See how it is. This is how it's been the whole entire game anyways. You're just riding. Oh my god. Oh my god. This might not be good. Oh my god. Friends, help me. Gosh darn, I can't believe, if I didn't have the faster reload, I would have died right there. My upgrades are one of the most helpful things I've gotten. Oh, also the upgrades to my car, those upgrades are so helpful. My first time playing through this game, I don't think I ever upgraded my dude's skills. So the whole entire game I was just shooting super slowly, moving like a turtle. But I like toidles, so fuck, get out of my way. Okay, let's keep going. Still have 200 bullets left, so we're totally good. We're like Sandra Bullet right now. Okay, got those gas pans back, and let's go for the very last one. We got our last gas can, now let's take it back. Any zombie behind us shouldn't be a problem because we walk faster than them, so we just gotta get there, and I think we're pretty good. I don't think there's anything after this challenge either. I don't think there's like a final boss fight or anything. That'd be cool though. You start the generator and enter the safe haven. Yay! We did it! Alright, so we made it to the safe haven, so we traveled 5,700 miles. Three healthy party members, um, one infected party member, station wagon condition was 63%, we had lots of fuel, and all of these things, it took us 270 hours, does that give us more points or less points? I'm not sure. Difficult rating was normal, so that makes our score times 2, and our total score is 11,696. Ooh, I want to share my score on Twitter. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I'm good. We've unlocked 50 additional tombstones. That's interesting. Oh. Now it's time for the credits. Ryan Wisewire? I killed you. Michael Block, I killed you. <laughs> so, yep, this was Oregon Trail. It's a pretty fun game. If you want to play it, you can buy it on Steam. Or if you have a Ouya, you can buy it on there too. But really, who buys an Ouya? They don't really have any good game options. Everybody was excited for the Ouya, but. And nobody bought it, I don't think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip these credits because they're not that important. I mean, I know it's kind of cool seeing these people's names, but we don't know who any of them are anyways, so it's not like it matters. And there's one special thing we can do from the title screen that I'll show you guys after these credits. Okay, so if you go to Extras, and then I believe it is Clement's Quest, this is really fun. <laughs> it's pretty much like one of those games, sort of like, uh, can't think of the name. Uh, the one with the motorcycle. I forgot what that's called. Oh shit. Am I stuck? Oh shit. Okay. So yeah, what you want to do is your goal is to get as far as you physically can possibly can. And your food goes down as you drive. But as you make it to checkpoints, I believe it refills your food. If I remember correctly. So let's see. Yes, it does. So those are like food refillments. <laughs> So you want to make it as far as possible, and it does get a lot more difficult as time goes on. You don't want to end up going upside down or else something bad happens to one of your people. And I think there is a way to refill their life. I think it's by going through cities. You can like go through hospitals and stuff, refill their life. But once everybody in your party dies, that's when you technically lose. So we'll see how far we can get. And I like the blood effect. It's like a really cool particle effect. Very interesting. Okay, give me some more food. Oh, angry survivors give Bobby typhoid. Damn it. Dang it. Angry survivors? Or like angry beavers. Damn it! Indianapolis! We got 110 food. Farmlands. 
Chicago. We rest in the town for three days. Oh gosh, we're all doing pretty good health-wise now. Fuck off, zombie. Get out of here. How does this even happen? What? Food? Nope. Typhoid. Fuck! We're almost out of food and everyone's life is slowly going to start depleting. Which is very sad. Hospital? Food? Maybe? Yes. 170 ounces of food. Perfect. Hopefully we can get to the next town. Strip club! Strip club! Can you give me food possibly? Either that or heal all of us? Yes! Food! Perfect. Albuquerque. Fuck. How do I spell this? Law. More food! Desert Motel. More food! Sweet! <laughs> Bye, Maria. You're probably gonna die. Oh well. Unless we can stop at a town and get three days of healing. <gasps> Maria has typhoid again. Maria is so fucked. I can't even see myself because I keep going off the screen. It's scary. I don't like it. Maria has the worst luck in the whole entire world. Like, seriously, she's gonna be a dead bitch soon. I bet she'll break her arm and die right here. I'm calling it. Oh no, Clements. Okay, this is your last chance to survive, Maria. You are such a lucky bitch. Such a lucky bitch. Airbase? Yay, typhoid for everyone! Safe haven! We did it! Now return to DC. What? A return like go all the way backwards? <laughs> How about... No. Anyways, thank you all for watching my short little let's play of Oregon Trail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you for my next series, whatever it's going to be. It's probably one of my least professional series I've done so far. But, you know, it's whatever, it's whatever. Well, not as unprofessional as, say, Link's crossbow training. I don't know. I've had some sillier series. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I've been attacking two cans, and peace out!